uh, very similar to corn. We have grain sorghum or milo. Indifferent, you can call it whatever. Uh, but we see here we're in the sorghum crop and, and sometimes that we, we make the differentiation between grain sorghum and what we've had uh, in recent years uh, kind of really take off, especially in the western part of the state, forage sorghum and sweet sorghum. Practically they're identical. Uh, they're, they're the same species, a little bit different subspecies. So the, the grain sorghum you see here is, is practically the same as the sweet sorghum or the forage sorghum we see in, in other parts of the state. We have a little bit more pest pressure uh, here in grain sorghum than we typically do in, in our corn crop. Uh, one of those has been a hot topic in recent years and it's the sugarcane aphid. Uh, sugarcane aphid was historically a sugarcane pest uh, because of the name obviously. Um, it actually came into sorghum and is now a major pest in the southern half of the United States in our sorghum crop. Uh, but when we talk about pests, uh, we have to talk about weeds. And when we talk about weed control, this is a crop to where we have a lot of challenge in. It's a grass crop, but it's, it's one of our few grain crops that we're gonna grow during the summer that is, an, is a non-GMO. This is completely conventional variety. So we have no new forms of technology as far as our herbicides to be able to take some of our problematic weeds. Up until recently, this has been a really really positive crop when we've started to go into some of our drier regions as far as the double crop is concerned. Uh, most of the time when we're in our drier regions some of our more traditional double crops don't fit into the system. Grain sorghum did fit into the system. However because of the sugarcane aphids and how late that these mature during a double crop system it kind of is, is a little bit problematic and you're kind of rolling that dice planting grain sorghum as a double crop. If you look back in our history we've had very few years of complete grain sorghum um, failures across the state. It's one that's very stable, very secure. The price is getting competitive just because a lot of folks are going to corn, are going to soybeans, are going to non-summer uh, crops, and, and we're in drastic need of grain sorghum across the U.S.